Welcome to the SmartBoard Quick Start video. This video can be accessed anytime and on any device. This tutorial will show you how to get up and running with your SmartBoard. First we'll look at an overview of the display. Then we'll explore the steps for properly moving the cart. Finally, we'll learn how to use Smart Ink. Let's get started. The MX Series SmartBoard is a touch display. The built-in PC is located in the back of the panel and allows you to access the internet, smart notebook, and other teaching applications. The wireless keyboard with integrated mouse pad can be used to control the PC. The display is also equipped with two magnetic pens. The pens do not require batteries and do not need to be charged. You will also find buttons in the lower right-hand corner. Let's take a closer look. Use the power button to turn the display on and off. Source allows you to switch between available inputs. Menu provides access to display settings, and pause will freeze any content on the screen. To unfreeze the content, press the pause button again. Speaker mute and the volume controls allow you to adjust the audio level or mute it. The ports on the left side are for additional connections to the smart board. USB 1 can be used to connect a flash drive to access files. USB 2 is for service only and should not be used. The USB B and HDMI ports can be used to connect an external laptop. If using the V2 version of the smart board, you will notice that the button panel is slightly different. The main differences are the button layout and the addition of the home screen option and shade button. Use the home button to quickly access the Smart IQ dashboard. The screen shade button allows you to cover what is being displayed on the screen on any input. On the V2 display, you will also notice that the USB ports are located on the left side panel. The webcam at the top of the display has a built-in microphone, which can be used for voice commands. Slide the switch at the top of the camera to open and close the lens cover. The audio enhancement microphone attached to the top corner of the cart has a wireless transmitter which allows you to play the smart board's audio through the classroom speakers. This handheld microphone can also be detached and used as a student microphone. The buttons on the far side of the monitor allow you to raise or lower the display. The display must be in the lowest position when moving. Finally, the cart has four casters with locking tabs for the two rear wheels. The wheels must be locked when the cart is stationary. Getting started with your smart board is quick and easy. First, press the power button on the display. Then turn on the PC by pressing the power button on the back side of the cart. Finally, use the wireless keyboard to log into the PC. If the keyboard is not working, check to make sure it is powered on with the switch in the rear. Each keyboard is only compatible with the cart to which it is paired. In the event of a keyboard mix-up, Please note that each keyboard has a number on the back that corresponds to a number on the back of the panel. Once logged in, simply pick up one of the smart pens and start writing on the desktop. Press the ink tool to access pen colors, line thickness, and highlighters. Use your palm to erase annotations. Your finger can be used as a mouse to select and move objects. To capture your annotations, press the pen icon in the upper right-hand corner of any window and then press the camera. The audio enhancement microphone transmits sound from the smart board to the ceiling speakers in the room. Ensure that the microphone is powered on and that the audio and power cable are connected. The audio cable also needs to be plugged into the port on the back of the display. Look for the green arrow on the back of the panel that shows you where to plug in the cable. If the cable is unplugged, the sound will play through the smart board speakers. To use the device as a microphone, unplug the audio and power cable from the mic and remove from the holder. When placing the mic into the holder, reconnect both cables to ensure the microphone stays powered and connected to the audio enhancement system. Extreme caution should always be taken when moving the smart board. Two people are required. To get started, first use the height adjustment button to lower the display into the lowest position. Do not skip this step. 
the panel must always be at the lowest position when moving. Then ensure that the display and PC are powered off. Now unplug the power cable from the outlet and wrap the power cord loosely on the rear of the cart. Next, unlock the two rear wheels by using your hand to pull up on the locking tab. Each person should hold a handle on either side of the cart. Slowly move the cart to the desired position. Be careful to avoid rolling over cables and other obstacles. Once the cart has been moved, lock the rear casters by stepping down on the locking tabs. Finally, plug the cart back in and raise the display to the desired position. Note, if moving the panel between buildings, please secure the keyboard and pens prior to moving. To clean the display, use a soft cloth. If needed, spray the cloth with water or ammonia-free screen cleaner. Never spray any solution directly on the display to avoid liquid damage. Remember, never use any strong cleaning solutions on the board. When finished using the smart board, press Ctrl-Alt-Delete on the keyboard to lock the computer or sign out. Then press the power button on the front of the display. Thank you for watching this quick start video. For additional resources, please visit smart.palmbeachschools.org. Have a great school year.